In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, living in Mary, make me pure in body and spirit, and help me to die to myself. We could talk a lot about Maximilian Kolbe and his teachings and his life. There are many, many things we can learn from him. But the first thing we, I think we, we could remember about his life is about the options he made very early in life. He was very young when once his mother was told him, what will become of you? I don't know the whole story. I don't remember right now what he did. I don't know if we know about it, but this young kid was like, I don't know what will become of me. <laughs> and he actually went down to church and asked uh, this question, what will become of, of me? And he had an experience that's very rare. Most people have not heard or seen Virgin Mary. This young boy did. That's why he became so much in love with her and he was so passionate about it. But the Virgin Mary appeared to him with two crowns, a white one and a red one. And he, she asked him which one he wanted. The white one representing purity and the red one representing martyrdom. And he said he wanted both. This young boy chose both purity and martyrdom. How much do we choose purity? How much do we choose to give ourselves to others, to die to ourselves? This young boy had this incredible experience of seeing the Virgin Mary and, and being offered these things and making a choice and living up to them. He actually ended up giving up his life for another man in concentration camp of Auschwitz. When someone else was dying, they, he was not meant to die. And he actually followed Jesus by giving his life for the life of another person. He said, I'll give my life in his name. Let me die instead of him. He did that out of love. Because of his purity of heart, he could love. So most probably, most of you, and I'm not expecting uh, either, to see Virgin Mary come over and ask me, hey, are you choosing purity? Are you choosing martyrdom? Are you choosing to follow me? Very, very few people have that experience. But that calling, that experience is still something that we are being called to ask for ourselves. Are we choosing purity? Are we choosing love? San Maximilian Kolbe has many names, but he's a martyr of charity. He loved so much that he gave his life for someone else. He loved so much because his heart was pure. It was reserved to love God through others. And he had such a huge heart because he gave all the space of his heart to Mary. He accepted this gifts and these virtues through Mary. And as you might have read uh, on today's reading, he decided to dedicate his whole life to one ideal. His whole life was dedicated to trying to bring the whole world to God through Christ under the generalship of Mary Magdalene. She saw Mary as the general. She had to be the leader of this huge army where we're fighting against evil, against Satan, and the Immaculate Conception, as, as he loved her, as he called her, as he understood it, was calling him, as he understood, to make more people soldiers of Christ, soldiers of this Marian militia. And he gave his whole life to this ideal. He dedicated his whole life to promoting Marian consecration. That's why he's here in this week's reflections. So think about his life and think about his options and think about the options you are making in your own life. How much are you willing to die to yourself? How much are you willing to 
be pure in your body and spirit to give everything to God.